Organizations and Star Citizen. Released on January 2014, the organization system brought new pathways and possibilities when it came to social interaction. Although the new system is subject to change, the current organization system can be confusing to new players. As such, over the course of this video, I will go over what organizations are, the different types of organizations, how to join one, whether bigger is always better, benefits of organizations, and whether you should join or make one. For the purpose of this video, I'll be shortening the word organizations to org. Let's begin. Orgs consist of a group of players working towards a common goal. This goal can be heavily enforced or ignored altogether, depending on the type of org. If you've played any similar games in this genre, orgs are very similar to clans or guilds. They present players with an opportunity to get together with other players who share the same interests as you. An instant benefit to joining an org is the immediate access to all the players in your said org. Additionally, orgs give you the ability to pool your resources to create more inexpensive ships. To create an organization, you'll want to navigate your way to the Robert Space Industries website. Go to Community. Organizations, navigate to create, and you'll be greeted with a bunch of different options. First up, fill your name in, which can be absolutely anything, it can be the same name as a different organization, and your Spectrum ID, this will just differentiate you from other organizations that may have the same name as you. There are five different archetypes which don't technically change uh, the overall aspect of your organization, however there will be more information on this further in the video. The properties, casual, regular, and hardcore. Casual being uh, your more laid back sort of organization, not too many rules, uh, your default casual gamer. Your regular one, um, people who are sort of interested in Star Citizen, but still have their normal life that want to, that they might need to go on with. And hardcore, which will be mo most of your enthusiast players, which will have most of their time on Star Citizen and be very dedicated members. So you can choose either casual, regular, or hardcore. I would go with regular. Your language, what your primary language will you want to, it to be, sorry, and roleplay. This is completely up to uh, user preference, whether you want to roleplay, yes or no. Um, my personal opinion, and they should probably add like a mix between the two, but if you do want a bit of roleplay, I just put yes. Primary activities, so these activities are actually activities that don't necessarily determine what you have to do, but just a general guide for players. Uh, when they're viewing your organization. So you have a bunch of different uh, primary activities and secondary activities. So if you wanted to focus primarily on exploration, you can click exploration and maybe piracy if you wanted to do that. Uh, these by no means means that you're locked into these. These are just some general guides. And introduction. You can write a short bio about your organization and what you want to achieve. Also, if you're in a fair few organizations and you like one more than the other, then you can navigate your way to the My Account section and then the organization, which is under that. From there, you can set certain organizations as your main, make them visible, redacted, or hidden, set, uh, leave them, or accept invitations or view your applications. A question that seems to be asked a lot is, is bigger always better? The simple answer is no. Of course, when it comes to fleet fights, which may include several capital ships, the answer will be yes. A smaller org with 15 members will easily be outnumbered to one that has thousands. However, having fleet fights isn't always going to happen, and you can choose to opt out of them altogether if you want. Generally speaking, a larger org has broader interests, which means that they may start to stray from your specific interests. However, it does present you with a larger range of people to choose from. On the other hand, in a smaller org, the interests of the members will be generally a lot more specific, making it easier to share news, communicate, and do cooperative missions. A group of 5 members can easily beat a group of 50 if they work together and plan. What are some direct benefits that I'll see from joining an org? Joining an org won't necessarily mean that you benefit through physical items or ships at this stage. However, they can benefit you in the long run, through social connections, sharing of past experiences, transfer of information on planets and sectors, news, ship sharing, fleet fights, co-op missions, greater assets, and so much more. There are currently five different types of orgs. These are called archetypes. Although they don't necessarily change the org on a technical scale, they exist to provide a general feeling about an organization's more overall agenda. These archetypes are Corporation, PMC, Faith, Syndicate, and Organization. Corporation is a for-profit business entity. It is a great choice for orgs looking to go down a business path, whether it be trading or conducting hostile takeovers of other business entities. PMC is a short term for private military company. This archetype is good for players that seek good combat. Focuses for the PMC include escorting cargo runs like hunting for pirates or helping the UAE take on the Vandal. Faith. 
Faith is an organization type that has its members come together for a single cause under a single banner. This could be rebels fighting for Terran independence or for other lore related RP scenarios. The Syndicate archetype is home for groups who operate on the edges or outside the law. A main incentive for grouping up with other criminals or wannabe criminals is that there's safety in numbers when you're moving contraband through the verse. The Syndicate archetype would be for your more rebellious players. Organization. This archetype is a template for anything of your choosing. There is no previous association, history or story. You can mould and create your own background using this archetype. Feel free to leave your group's archetype blank. Planned features. Throughout the years since the organization system launched, CIG have hinted at and publicly announced that certain features will be added to the system. These include organization forums, a private forum owned by your org through the RSI site, org blog featuring a shout box and the ability to post news updates, visual chart, an interactive display showing all of your org's divisions, jobs and members, calendar to set up squadron meetings, big events and more, voting making group decisions based upon your team's consensus, and finally, Fleet View, which you can view your uh, fleet ships. So now that you know what orgs are and how to make one, should you make one? If you have a very specific interest that you can't seem to find in any other orgs, or if you feel that you just want you and your friends in an org, or if you just want to try it out because it's cool, it's perfectly fine. To create and experience the different options offered is the best way to truly find what is best for you. Joining one makes having to establish a player base, assigning roles, and general administration almost a forgettable thing. However, it will also mean that you will have to create new friendships and work your way through the ranks. So finally, what org is right for you? Star Citizen is a unique and ambitious space simulator which offers its players a plethora of opportunities and gateways to develop their own path. As such, to specifically tell you what org to join would do the game and you injustice. My best personal opinion would be to go out and try a few, talk to the people through chat, and see whether they share the same interests with you. There are a lot of good ones to try out there, and so many different opportunities. That's it for the video today guys, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments or tell me anything that I might have gotten wrong. I hope you enjoyed it, I have a few more coming out soon, all the respective links are in the description below, and have a great day.